Hi, this is Claudia from Sprack and Sea Science. Today I will be talking to you about three very important concepts of microscopy, which are magnification, resolution, and field of view. This is part one of a three-part lecture. This part will de deal with resolution and magnification. Again, we will be talking about magnification, resolution, and field of view. Magnification refers to the apparent size of an object that you're seeing, the image of that object, how many times is it increased. Field of view refers to which area of the slide you can see at any given time when looking through the microscope. And resolution refers to the smallest distance that two points can be apart from each other and it will still permit you to see them as two separate points. Um, for humans it's 200 micrometers so that's pretty small. Okay, let's begin with resolution. Imagine you have two points that are an x distance from each other are you still able to see two points? Now, as the distance keeps getting smaller between those two points, it begins to be harder to tell them apart as two points to the point that they might seem part of the same object or they might appear as just one object instead of two if they're very, very close together. Let's think of magnification. There are two components of magnification that you need to keep in mind when thinking of the magnification of a slide. The first of them is the objective magnification, which is indicated by the objective lens. Just for reference, this would be the objective lens. Some microscopes have three, four, or even more, depending on which microscope you're using. So for our purposes, let's use 4x objective, 10x objective, and 40x objectives. So the 4x objective would increase the size of that image that you see under the microscope four times. So say an object is one millimeter wide, it will appear four millimeters wide to you on the microscope. <clears throat> and the 10 times objective increases that size 10 times. And the same thing for the 40 times objective, it increases that image 40 times. Now, the second component of magnification is the ocular magnification. Ocular magnification is determined by the ocular lens. Just for reference, this is the ocular lens. Um, some microscopes have one, some microscopes have two. Never seen a microscope with three, but then again, I've never seen a person with three eyes. So this is the part where you directly put your eyes on to look at the microscope. It's a very, very, very closest lens to you. Now, the ocular lens has a fixed magnification. It does not change no matter which objective you're looking through. For our purposes, we will use 10x, but some microscopes may have a different ocular magnification depending on the strength of the microscope. Okay, so this means that the size of the cell that you're looking at, for example, at the 4x objective, is not only increased 4 times by the 4x objective, but it's also increased 10 times by the 10x, object, uh, by the 10x ocular magnification which would give you a total of 40 times that that image is being increased. And of course, the same applies to all other objectives. So the 10x would be magnified 100 times because of ocular magnification, and the 40x would be uh, magnified 400 times 
um, by the ocular magnification. But now let's look at it a little bit more closely. So to calculate total magnification, there is actually a formula, which we've already discussed, and it, it's very intuitive formula. It's very simple formula. So you multiply the objective magnification by the ocular magnification to get the total magnification. Let's see examples. Again, objective magnification times ocular magnification gives you total magnification. So four times magnification multiplied by 10 times ocular magnification will give you a total magnification of 40 times. We've already discussed this. 10x magnification times the 10x ocular magnification will give you a 100x total magnification. And a 40x objective magnification multiplied by the 10x ocular magnification will give you 400 times total magnification. It's a very simple formula as long as you know that you need to multiply by the ocular magnification you should be fine. You can even memorize the values as they are. Again, this was Dia from Sprack and C Science on magnification and resolution. This is the end of part one of this series. For more information on field of view, please watch parts two and three. And don't forget to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed and found the lecture helpful.